Hello, my name is Ralph DeMeo. I'm an attorney with the Gilday Law Firm in Tallahassee. I'm here today on behalf of the Florida Bar Animal Law Section. The Animal Law Section is made up of about 550 lawyers, judges, law students, and law professors across Florida. And every year we recognize people who have made a special contribution to animals. We've given awards out to law students, law professors, other lawyers. We even give one to an animal who uh, makes the greatest contribution. Well, I got to know Dr. Purvis uh, over the years through his service at the animal shelter and through his music and got to thinking after his passing that we don't have an award for a veterinarian. So we got together and our group of leaders unanimously approved creating an award so we could present it the very first one to Dr. Michael Purvis. And I'm so pleased that today his family is here, uh, as well as the folks from the animal shelter. And we'll all have a chance to uh, say a few words, but basically <clears throat> he was a, a very special, very unique person. Those words are often you know, thrown about casually, but it's very true in his case. So many talents, so compassionate, so caring and uh, just really amazing his contributions. Because I'm a horse lover and a horse owner, one of the things I was particularly impressed with is he was the very first veterinarian in the state of Florida to diagnose the West Nile virus. And he reported that to the state, and as a result, countless uh, horse lives were saved. And he, did, he never met an animal that he wouldn't care for and love, and that was something he was much appreciated for. He was an adjunct professor at FAMU, Recently, they recognized him by naming a classroom after him. He worked here as a volunteer at some of the clinics and also as an employee, and he got to know the staff here very well. And uh, the bottom line is he was just a, a really an amazing person, an amazing veterinarian, and also as a music lover, I loved his music. He played with his uh, brothers in a fantastic band that I had the privilege of seeing many, many times, and, and I often said he does a better Willie Nelson than Willie Nelson does. So. Uh, in any event, we're just very, very pleased to be able to have created this award and then present it for the very first time to Dr. Michael Purvis. So if someone from his family could step forward, please. <clears throat> Hi there, and this is his son, Michael. And let me read this to you. It's the Florida Bar Animal Law Section Veterinarian Achievement Award presented to Dr. Michael Purvis for contributions to animal law in Florida, June 9th, 2021. And I'd like to present that to you now. Okay. If you want to say a few words, just hang on to that. Not a man okay. of many words. That's fine. <laughs> Go right ahead. Hi, I'm Mike's sister, and we are just so honored that he received this reward. I was thinking about what were his major accomplishments, and I think his love for animals, but more importantly, his love for other people and caring and making a difference in other people's lives. And he was very instrumental in helping FAMU get their vet tech program started and also their pre-vet. And nothing thrilled him any more than to have one of his students text him or call him and say, Dr. Purvis, I passed my test. I got accepted in Auburn. You know, those were the things that he was, that pleased him the most. It wasn't about uh, you know, it was about caring for others, and uh, he did so very quietly. He didn't really share with others that he had helped a student maybe who couldn't afford shoes, or someone, you know, just, just caring and mentoring them and encouraging them when they felt like they weren't smart enough. He encouraged them, he had patience with them. So this, this award really means so much to us, and we do thank you from the bottom of our heart. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm uh, Frank Purvis. I'm Mike's uh, brother, and we were uh, planning to be veterinarians together, but that didn't work out because uh, I wasn't smart enough like he was. <laughs> so I've worked hard all my life on the plantation that uh, we had lots of animals, and Mike was our vet for many days because I knew I could trust him and uh, that he would always do a good job and he loved animals. You know, few of us know when we we're young exactly what we want to do in life. Uh, I'm old and I still don't know exactly what I want to do yet, but I'm getting there. And uh, 
But Mike knew from the time he was four years old. Uh, we grew up on Willowney, which is close to here. And uh, he uh, would, you know, being the youngest, he wasn't in school yet. So he would stay home and my dad would take him out hunting with them. And he would sit with Mrs. Flashman on the, the wagon all day long. She would hug him up, you know, and keep him warm. She and her little cocker spaniel. And uh, she loved for Mike to come. If my dad didn't take her, uh, take him on the trip, uh, she would say, George, where is, uh, where is Mike today? Can he come out with us? So she would get dad to go to the house and get him. But he and Ms. Flashman used to talk and he told her. He said, uh, I'm gonna be a veterinarian. And that's what he knew. I mean, at four years old, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. And that's why he was go so good uh, at it. He loved animals. A lot of his animals at his house uh, were rescued from the side of the road or a dumpster or somewhere that he had found the dog that, that uh, you know, was uh, poor and, and hungry and he would take the dog home and that became his pet. And he had some great little animals that he loved and uh, took care of for so many years. But, you know, a lot of people uh, think that a veterinarian is, is only about you come to my office and I'll take care of you. But Mike was one of those vets, you know, a friend of ours had a dog that was sick and we had played in Panama City that night. And we came home and they called Mike and it was 2.30 in the morning when we got home. And uh, he was really tired, he'd been up all day and half the night before, but uh, they called him and they said, my dog is sick, you know. He said, well, what's going on? And they explained it to him. He said, well, I think I have what we need. I'll check at the house and I'll be over there in about 20 minutes. So he got in his car and he went and literally saved the dog's life that night. But uh, that was the kind of thing that he loved. He loved animals and we really appreciate this award. I mean, we can't say thank you to uh, everyone enough. And I know that he loved uh, animal shelters. We played at so many uh, fundraisers for animal shelters. Uh, and he just had a love for animals, but thank you very much. And I'll be My name is Joan and I'm the oldest sister. And I think one of the things that st stood out for me when I heard about this award was how Mike had such a special connection with animals. One day a lady walked into his clinic with a little schizophrenic dog and the dog was just going crazy. And the lady says, I cannot do anything with this dog. Can you help me? And so Mike knelt down on the floor and he started talking to that little dog and that little dog came right up to him, stopped jumping around and he and that dog became the best of friends and the lady said, that dog is yours now. <laughs> and so I think that was Freddie, right? Freddie. Freddy. And Mike kept that little dog everywhere. He went with him everywhere. But Freddie was a much calmer dog when he was around Mike. And thank you so much. We appreciate this. Yes, ma'am. My name is Katie Watson and I'm a vet tech at the Animal Shelter and I just want to say that it was an honor and a privilege to get to know and to work with Dr. Purvis. He made a, con a tremendous contribution to our community, not only animals but with people, the students and the people in our community and pet owners and also the animals here at the Animal Shelter that were homeless and so we just want to really show our gratitude for his contribution and getting to know him. He had wonderful character. Some of the things that come to mind are kindness, generosity, wisdom, knowledge, and he was humble and kind to everyone. So it was, it was a wonderful opportunity to work with him. Well, again, we appreciate everybody gathering here today uh, to further uh, give tribute to Dr. Purvis, and you've heard some of the wonderful things he's done. And uh, we just thank everybody so much for the opportunity to be part of this and present this award to him. Thank you.